I'm Erin. And I'm Britt. And this is going to be our Libby Hub recap video for week three in our intermediate class for Swing and Arbor in July. Um, we rocked today. We really wanted to get into precise, fast, awesome triple step footwork, some more hip control ideas for the leads and followers, and again, some more phrasing ideas for things to do after your first basic set of eight. So first of all, we had our triple step exercise where we're just bouncing, bouncing along to fast music. And then we had our double bounces on each leg that then turned into our triple step, triple step, triple step, triple step, which you can alternate with your double bounces again. And thinking about keeping the feet, I call it right under your butt cheeks. So not worrying about taking the feet in together or taking them out farther than hip width apart, keeping them right in here. And we started with a long warm up of that, which you all thought was going to kill you. Then we did swing outs where we had this small, precise idea of keeping the feet again right underneath the hips and the centers and sending the centers around in your swing out. Then we went into the idea of very controlled, proportionate swivels for the followers and we went into continual swivels. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, one, two. That can go into kickball changes. Seven and eight, one, two. Ba-da, ba-da, ba-da. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Lastly, what was the last one we had? After the oh, into the Susie cues. So leaders, this requires you to get onto the same footwork as the followers, which is going to be a right foot crossing into the, into the Susie cues, which is going to be eight, one, I believe. Mm -hmm. So we have to kind of hang out on count six, three and four, five, six, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're back on our normal footwork. She does a little um, stutter step to get back onto her but, um, normal footwork. Then again, moving in with the really great, chunky, fast triple steps, we moved into triple Charleston, side by side, do da da do, into pushaways. Move the hand, push away, sweep. Then you have these different little poses and rhythms that you can hit on the end. You can do a sink, da da da, boom, da da da, sink, da da da. You can do a cross kick, cross kick, do, da da da, cross kick, da da da. And again, this is another place where you can make that pattern continual in order to follow up the end of a phrase. So you can do continual sinks, do, da da da, sink, sink, sink. Sink, going back into Lindy Hop. That's a great exit in the Lindy. You can do continual cross kicks. Cross and back and cross and back. And then from here we went into your cross turn. Cross around five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. You guys rocked it. And we played a really, really fast song for you and made you do it super fast. And then we talked about how whenever you dance at any tempo, you want to think like you're dancing super fast but then put lots of space between the rhythms so that it is the right tempo. And that will give you the correct precision and integrity in your dancing. We were so proud of you guys. Thank you so much. We'll Good see job. you next week.